So as I get older and I start to realize the things that I've done in my life, and I actually get the time to slow down and look at what I've accomplished and what I've failed on, it is actually pretty wild to take a look at everything. You see, when I was younger, I was always broke. I was always forced in a position to always work hard, to always be able to afford to live. And now that I'm older and I'm more successful, I have a lot more downtime because I make more money. Now my bills are paid on time. Everything is kind of easier for me. But now that it's easier, the demons and stuff that I've pushed back and pushed down and swallowed when I was younger are now... It, it's easier for them to weigh in on my mind. You see, when I was younger, I didn't ever realize that I had a problem. I just thought, life sucks and I have to do the best that I can. I was super depressed. I just thought, this is it. This is me. And as I got older and I started realizing other people are going through the same thing, I started realizing that it's not normal. So you may see my mind kind of jump back and forth with a couple different things at a time. I may have my mind on one project and then 20 minutes later be doing something completely different. It's because my mind is full. It is going fast forward all the time. I'm constantly working on something. It doesn't stop. And that's why I have forced myself to drink. I have forced myself into alcohol, into some kind of downer. Because if I don't, I just, it's like an ongoing. It, it keeps on rolling. The tape keeps going. It doesn't stop. It doesn't give me peace. I don't sleep. I have no peace from this. So the alcohol was kind of like a, a toner. It toned me down and it gave me a little bit more time to breathe. It gave me more room to think, to focus. But I started realizing that it became a problem. The same crutch that I thought would help me walk was the same crutch I reached for when I couldn't walk. You see, it became more than a habit. It became a, 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 a way to live my life. It was what I reached for when I came from work. It was what I reached for when things didn't work. It was what I reached for when everything hurt or when it didn't hurt, when I have felt joy, when I felt happiness, when I felt betrayal. Anything was a reason. That's all it was, a reason. And I'm sick of it, honestly. I want it to stop because I know that I'm great in my heart of hearts. I know that I can make something work better than anyone else can. If I just had more faith in myself and more self-esteem, some more self-confidence to make things work. And that's really what it boils down to. If I had somebody in my corner when I was growing up telling me, you can do this, you can achieve greatness, maybe things would have turned out different. And now that's what I'm trying to do for someone else. I'm trying to be the voice that tells them you're great. You can do it. Don't listen to what other people have to say negative about you. You have greatness in your heart and you can accomplish greatness yourself. Unfortunately for me, I didn't realize that until it was too late. But hopefully I can reach someone else before it's too late for them. And that's really the point and all I do is to try and help others when others won't.